The last part of this series of videos is on insect adaptations. So insects in the rainforest, um, they diversify immensely because they're all competing for that kind of same space in the rainforest. Um, so the first example that I want to share of insect adaptations is an, an animal mimicking something else. So mimicry is this um, adaptation where it looks like something else, so it's fooling most of the time its predator to, into thinking it's either scarier than it is, um, so it wouldn't want to eat it, or that it's something else, so it wouldn't want to eat it. So it's a way to kind of evade predators. So these are different species um, of spiders. They have eight legs um, that are mimicking ants. Pretty crazy looking. Um, another one is this butterfly. It's called a glass wing butterfly. It has very clear wings, which help it kind of to hide in its environment, much like the glass frog you saw in an earlier video. So that is a kind of camouflaging adaptation. Pretty cool. I've only seen one of those, and they're really pretty. Um, this is another type of mimicry where one species evolves to re resemble another. It reinforces something called visual unpalatability cues, which basically means if a predator sees it, it thinks it's something yucky that it doesn't want to eat because it looks like that thing that it didn't like one time. So these are mimics of different heliconius butterflies um, that have developed to look a lot like one another to confuse their predators. These are really cool. Some of my favorite insects are leaf mimics. So one of the species, and actually several species of katydids, is this little green guy. This actually, this leaf looking thing is actually its body. So it has evolved um, so much to look like a leaf that it can hide within plants very easily. This praying mantis um, has evolved to look like a dead leaf, so it can hide in decaying leaf matter. And then these leaf-footed bugs have these like flattened extensions on their legs to help them hide as well. So leaf mimics really do help them kind of stay camouflaged. Pretty cool. Um, you've probably heard of walking sticks here. You've maybe even seen one, but there are a bunch of different types of them in the rainforest. So these are stick mimics. The one on the left is a, called a jumping stick, and the two on the right um, are walking sticks. And you might not think these would blend in, but there are so many different types of plants in the rainforest that they probably have a specific home that they blend in with. So those are just a few examples of insects. There's thousands and thousands and thousands of types of them, but those are my favorite examples there. So this is me on uh, the Oxbow Lake where those river otters were. In an earlier video, I just want to say thanks for learning about the rainforest. It is an amazing and wonderful place, and uh, by learning about it, you are spreading awareness, um, and you can now teach other people about it, and we can hopefully conserve our rainforest and save all of these amazing species.